weekend guys i hope you've all had a wonderful week as you can probably tell from the opening uh clips i am currently in central park because it is the most beautiful saturday i've got to go and pick up some things from drama bookstore so i thought that i would stroll all the way up from Harlem uh, from what Gino's apartment all the way down to the bookstore itself to pick up some bits uh, because it is such a nice day and I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. I don't know if you can tell or not but I've actually changed what I'm filming the vlog on. It's easy to look at and <laughs> I don't have to focus on like six different things but I can look at myself if I want to look at this little like screen thing here. This is actually a camera that Gino got for Christmas which he's kindly lent me for the weekend. Um, yeah, it's been a great week, just work, uh, and it's been relatively nice weather, although we did get caught in the rain last night. We were hanging out with some friends uh, downtown and we got caught in the most torrential downpour. But today it is all nice and dry, nice and sunny. You probably can't tell, I've stepped off the path to talk to you guys because <laughs> I'm annoying every single runner and a runner myself, I know how annoying it is to have to divert the traffic. So I'm off the path, the path's just here not that deep in the woods um just to sort of say hi and i hope you've all had a lovely week this weekend isn't going to be crazy busy we're just going to be doing some different bits and bobs i don't know how this is going to look on the camera but uh hopefully it's nice and fun all right guys well i'll see you in a bit you will also have to excuse my shiny forehead it is a hot day today <laughs> If any of you want to know, just up there is the theatre in Central Park where Shakespeare in the Park is on every year. They do three shows. Uh, Jess and I actually went to go and see Julius Caesar there uh, last month and it was such a great experience. I mean, it was in the middle of the night, in the middle of Central Park, there was fireflies everywhere and it was amazing. So if you want to know where it is, you have to take the train up on the west side to 86th Street and you can come in from the side and it's just there. And there's a gorgeous little bar where you can get snacks and drinks and things. And it's a lovely evening. If you can grab tickets, make sure to get there early if you do want them, but it's well worth checking out during the summer. Really, really great. And it's free. Coming up on this path down here is one of my favorite bits in the whole of Central Park. So I'm gonna take you down there. Um, you'll have seen it on a number of films. I actually <laughs> was a really, really big nerd when I first moved to New York and I found it after scouting out places that had been on Sex and the City because it just has to be done. When, you first, when I first moved here, that's all I wanted to do was to see all the different bits that I'd seen in movies growing up. Um, and this was on, I think it was in Sex and the City, the movie number one. Sex and the City film, the first movie, and the last five years with Anna Kendrick and Jeremy Jordan, and it is beautiful. And I actually brought Gino here at the beginning of us dating, and it's just, and my sister's been here when she visited, and it's just like the nicest place in New York. It's like a little escape, and I'll show you. I bet it's busy now, because in the past couple months that I've been there, every time I get there, it is busier and busier, and today is a nice, warm Saturday. So I can guarantee there's gonna be more people. Oh, there's just like, it's just so cute. There's like little bridges down there. Can you see that? Perfect day. All these runners are making me feel like I'm not to scratch on my fit and health and fitness at the moment. Uh, but I will take you down to my favorite bit in a second and tell you how to get there. Okay, so to get to this really cool place, you're gonna to wanna to enter in from the 76th Street entrance and head down this little place. You'll see it's called Ladies Pavilion. So you can see that on all the Central Park maps. And it's like a right little like path to get all the way down. But trust me, when you get down to the bottom, it is worth it. And you're gonna come along this little path. So as we get closer, how amazing is this? Yep, it's busy as I guessed. But this is the Ladies Pavilion bandstand where you can come down for lunch, but the views are insane you'll see how amazing so you can go up on the rocks there's people playing it's like a little nook on the side of this lake there's people playing down there sunbathing at the top but this is my favorite it's the ladies pavilion bandstand it's a perfect little lunch spot if you've got half an hour and you live up or work up on the west side you can come down here but it makes the perfect it's like the perfect Instagram spot. I mean, are you kidding me? So you can climb up on the rocks and then there's also, oh look, it's just beautiful. How 
amazing is that? And it's nice all year round. I mean, in the winter, it's pretty much like, it's like sort of pretty bare around here, but it's actually quite nice to come with the lake's frozen over. But look at this. This is like the perfect spot. They've got like a little path going all the way up and you can get out that way too. And it heads back to the main path that we just came off on a different point. It's like the perfect spot. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm not even kidding you. There is a family of turtles. <laughs> Look! Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm on planet Earth or something. Mummy's FaceTiming! Just as we discovered the family of turtles. <laughs> I found Mummy Turtle back in England. Woohoo! The wonders of technology, eh, Mum? Yes, love it! Okay, I've spent way too long looking at those turtles, so now it is time to head to the bookstore and then to the movies. But look how fun it is. Definitely come and check this out, guys. And then you're back on the main path. So cute. Guys, I've had to step out of Central Park. I'm getting too distracted and it's gonna make me late. So I've had to walk back in the street. So I left on the 72nd Street exit and I'm gonna be walking all the way down to 44th Street. Oh, it is hot. Oh, subway. We were truly back in Midtown because it is heaving. I didn't have to jump on the subway though, that was what I thought I was going to do. I thought I was going to have to jump on the subway and ruin this plan of walking all the way down. It's Drama Bookstore! We did it! Alright, time to get some books. Guys, we made it to the movie. Oh my god. Oh, we're videotaping. I'll let you know. <laughs> Probably even in every vlog that I've done the past three weeks, like, you would thought you would have caught on. <laughs> I'll let you know what the film's like afterwards, but we're very excited. Yeah. All right, so it's a little bit later. That movie was fucking insane. It's called The Little Hours. If you can go and see it, it's well worth it. It's just, it's just stupid fun. It's not an amazing storyline, but it's just tough. And that's what we go to the theater for, right? Well, the movie theater for. But it's definitely worth checking out. But uh, yeah, it was good. It's good, I'm glad we saw it. I was actually supposed to be meeting Gino and his friends, Sammy and Aaron, well our friends, Sammy and Aaron, at Tiki Taboo, but he has been kept back at work and I just went to Tiki but Taboo and they're not there. So I'm just gonna hang around the area, uh, explore a little bit more and yeah. I thought that I actually had never been to this part of uh, Manhattan before. Turns out that I actually have, and the only reason I don't remember it is because every time I've come down here is leaving Candela and Robbie's apartment when we've been absolutely hammered. So, <laughs> there's not much exploring to do. Although, I think I'm gonna go and get some shorts because what I was wearing this morning was my gym stuff because I was walking so much. And I actually don't have any just casual shorts. So I'm gonna go and check out all the high street stores on uh, Broadway, which is just down here and hopefully can get some more of a summery wardrobe because as we all know coming from England I don't have that, I don't have a summery wardrobe everything I have that I own is for winter There's a cute dog here and the gun Is this really what we turned to? But yeah, that's like fun wedding stuff. Yeah, because like, this is like fun stuff. Yeah, like, I can get down to that. Hi guys! So it's a little bit later now, as you probably have guessed, and today's plans have all kind of changed, but what a really nice day. I feel like I've got some sort of sunstroke <laughs> from being outside all day, but it's been so nice. And to end it on top of the roof with some friends, it's just been really, really sweet as well. Um, but I think I'm going to end today's vlog here. And I will see you tomorrow for some more fun in the city. Bye! Hi guys! So it's a little bit late in the Sunday, but I finally decided to vlog. This morning was really, really chill. Gina and I just caught up on some of our TV shows, made some breakfast. And then Gina went to go and view an apartment that we potentially are interested in and I went for lunch with 
some friends of mine, Jess and Holly, that we've actually we've actually been organizing this like meal out for maybe a year. So it was really, really nice to catch up with them. And then we have just been to the puppy store to look at some of the French Bulldogs. Oh my God, I can't tell you how cute they are. We cuddled this little like baby girl Frenchie and it was the cutest thing. So now I'm out with Cassie, Gina and Jordan and we're off to buy Chloe, which is like a vegan, uh, it's kind of like fast food, but it's really, really good stuff. Um, we're off to go and get some like quick bits to eat. And then tonight I have a meeting back up town. But uh, yeah, it should be really, really nice. It's a nice, another nice day. It's a bit more cool today, which is nicer. It's so much nicer when there's a breeze in this city because it's not so like overbearingly hot and muggy. But there they are. Hey! Ooh. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 Fam. Obviously, I'm cute. I mean, I, you didn't. I didn't need to tell you that. You can see. Always and forever. Oh, or like it, whisk maybe black. it's ketamine. Oh, she's born this way. <laughs> yeah, that is if you say maybe, maybe she's born, then maybe it's ketamine. <laughs> maybe it's ketamine. Yeah. This maybe is, it's, it's ketamine. Ancient Australian proverb. <laughs> oh, ice cream. You know what's another one? Talk shit, get in. That's that's not a proverb. That's just facts. Facts, my guy. Facts. <laughs> What love on her? Well, don't ever love Well, I've left everyone now, guys. Gino's gone off to have some dinner with some friends that are in town. <laughs> the girls have headed home back to Brooklyn. And I'm off to Michael's to go and get some, uh, I want some wire. We just bought some new crystals today and I want to wrap one of the crystals in wire, make it into like a pendant. Um, I mean, I could easily go and get that like made for me, but I thought if I just had the stuff to make it myself and in the future, I can just make it like really in a much more cost-effective way. Oh guys, we're going past Doe. If you're ever in New York, you have to go to Doe and get some of the donuts that are there. They're insane. I'm just currently walking to Michael's on 6th Avenue. And then once I've been there, I'm probably gonna jump down onto the subway and head uptown to a marketing meeting and then head on up back uptown. And now, reconvene with Gino later, but it's been a really nice day again. Like, it's kind of nice just having the weekend free. Obviously in a week's time, I'm gonna be starting company and it's gonna be crazy busy. So it's kind of nice to just have weekends of catching up on work, on reading, uh, doing different bits and bobs, but it's most, but it's mostly nice to just wander around uh, New York. So it's been a great weekend. And the weather has been insane. I mean, you could have just seen the weather there on the clips that I just had of Washington Square Park. Like, just so nice and peaceful. New York is so nice in the summer, if not a little bit unbearable. All the sun's coming back out, ready? Oh.
Alright guys, well I'm back home now. It has been a lovely day. Again, pretty unplanned, pretty spontaneous, but that is what the weekends are for and it's been so nice. If you liked this weekend's vlog, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed to this channel. Um, I'm hoping to do more vlogs in the future. I'm quite enjoying this format of vlogging the weekends and uploading it during the week. Just something extra for you guys to view. Um, but I've got some plans for what direction I want it heading in, so stay tuned for more of that information. Be sure to follow me on all my other social media and on the blog, and I'll link that all in the description box down below. And I'll see you next weekend. I hope you all have a lovely week. Goodbye!